Hey guys, today I'm going to show you three simple secrets in Minecraft PC. There might be more than three in this episode, it just depends. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys how to spawn a giant zombie. And how you do that is you just do a command slash summon su slash S U N N O N and then giant with a capital G G I A N T. Now the giant does not take any sun sun damage type stuff, but it is very fun to look at. Basically, what the giant is it's just this giant zombie. Now the hitbox I think is near the feet. Yeah, the hitbox is near the feet more than the head so they didn't really change the hitbox and if you didn't know guys the hitbox is where you hit a mob so I could kill this giant let me get a diamond sword to do it diamond sword quick kill this thing This thing has more health than a normal zombie, but as you can see, I just kill it and I gain experience. Now, for this one, I'm going to need sheep, a, sh um, a sheep spawn egg, and then you need an anvil. I'm also going to need a pig spawn egg, and I'm also going to need name tags. Now, For these three secrets, you're just going to take a name, you're just going to spawn a sheep in, you're going to take a name tag, one of the names, you're going to take a name tag, and you're going to name it Jeb, for our rainbow disco sheep, Jeb underscore. Now that you have Jeb underscore, you name your sheep, Jeb. And as you can see, it will start changing colors now it's a disco sheep. I'm not sure who inserted this in, but I'm pretty sure it's Jeb. Yeah, but it's really cool because now you have different colored sheep on one sheep. Now, for the two, I'm going to need two subjects for this one. We're going, you can turn, you can now turn pigs upside down. You can either use Dinner Bone, the capital D I N N Dinner Bone, Dinner Bone, and that will turn your pig upside down. Uh, it will move. Now you'll turn Dinner, now you turn it upside down. I'm going to grab a carrot to test and see if it will walk on its back. This is hilarious guys. So dinner bone and another one. Another thing you could do is grum. The grum is spelled G-R-U-M-M. -M. You can use grum to also turn your pig upside down. Now it looks like the model. Now I want to see what happens when you breed the pig. You get a normal baby, but then again, you can turn it back into like a crumb. You can name it Grum and everything. And Grum, I love this little thing. So amazing. Oh, look at them! So cute. Anyways, another thing that I wanted to show you is when okay. I want to show you I want to try and summon a giant wither. Now for the giant wither you're gonna wanna write slash summon summon C U M M summon space wither bath W I C H E R box in space. You don't want to see the squiggly lines. 
And then you're going to want to put bracket. Um, info. Info. Colon. Two. Five. Twenty-five thousand. Comma. Custom name. Rum. Custom name. Rum. Colon. Rum. Another bracket. And now it should. Whoa. 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 No way. It actually worked. Oh. Whoa. As you can see, this is a giant wither that I've just spawned into the world. Now I want to try and defeat this wither. Can I? Is it the same hitbox point? I've never tried this before, actually. I'm not sure. Like, if I look up, it disappears, so. What? Where did it? What? Oh, here is the giant wither box. Same thing as a normal wither, just scarier because it's giant. Now, I was thinking maybe I should do an ender dragon too. Slash summon. We're gonna do a giant wither versus the ender dragon. Ender dragon. Now, we're gonna see. Who will win in this epic fight? The Wither? Well, anyways, I want to think the Wither. So, I'm going to try and spawn a giant ender. Slash summon. Ender dragon. to be the end of a chaotic episode. I hope you enjoyed it.